Hello, this is Richard Wilson, and today I want to talk to you about something called the Capital Raising Trifecta. I'm actually here in Zurich, Switzerland to chair a conference on family office, ultra high net worth investments, and hedge funds. And I wrote a chapter of a book yesterday that I'm writing, a book on family offices, and it was about um, capital raising for those in the family office industry, but this can be applied to anybody who's in capital raising. And basically, the capital raising trifecta is a model where the proactive salesperson is at the top. Um, the second piece of the trifecta is writing, and the third part is speaking and video. And what I've found is that if you really want to raise capital more efficiently than your competitors, if you want to have more people coming to you during the capital raising process instead of you having to cold call or cold email thousands of potential investors to find a few dozen, then what you need to do is put together your own capital raising trifecta. It's important that you do this because if you don't, you can spend the same amount of energy and get you know one third of the results. So here's how it works. The first part of it is writing. If you write books, if you write articles, if you write blog posts, if you write white papers, if you write research reports, all of that is gonna build your knowledge and your credibility. Even if they don't get published anywhere, when you go to a client meeting and you pull out three different white papers and a book you wrote on a topic, you can be sure they're gonna believe that you at least know something about the topic. They're gonna to know that you're not at least completely wasting their time and you're not just some person who just walked into the industry and now you wanna sell them on a product. If you've taken the time to develop a bunch of white papers and a book, even if your intention was just to be a better salesman, in that process you're gonna learn a lot and everybody knows that. That's why people respect people more who have written books on very specific topics because it shows they've invested their time and energy into that area of knowledge. So writing is critical if you want to be respected by potential investors you're trying to raise capital for, and it's critical for just kind of mastering your niche area of investments. Um, another thing is speaking. You can speak at conferences, you can speak on a panel, you can speak at universities. I'm actually recording this video at Zurich University in downtown Zurich, kind of on the, the old town part of the city. And um, you know, you can speak at universities like this on your topic and just get better and better at speaking. And what you can do over time is then speak at large, well-respected conferences where investors and people who control capital will be. And just by speaking there for one hour, you might eliminate 100 hours of cold calling to try to get in touch with one of those investors that might come up to you after your speech if you do a really good job and deliver a lot of value. My top two tips on speaking is, one, look at it, look at it as kind of a ladder of speaking progress. You start at the bottom, and maybe you've never spoken before, right? So maybe you're not entirely comfortable with the process. But what you can do is start by just being on a panel. A panel at a conference is where there's one person moderating the panel, four or five people sitting down in front of a desk, and the person moderating asks a question, and each person on the panel just gives their opinion for two or three minutes. It's very easy, it's very low pressure. You're sitting down behind a table, it's very relaxed. Sometimes you can even say pass if you don't want to answer that specific question or say it's not relevant to your experience, that's totally fine. It's a really a low risk way of getting into speaking. After that, speaking at colleges and universities for 30 minutes at a time, very easy. After that, going to conferences, speaking for 30 minutes to 50 minutes at a time, again, very easy. And if you want to, after that, you can help do uh, chairmanships for conferences or help put on your own workshops or training seminars and such. Um, another trick is to do videos such as this, and you can watch yourself on video and see how clearly you speak, see whether what you're saying makes sense, people can follow your ideas or not. Um, that's my, my number one tip on speaking, is to look at it as a ladder of progress and just start at the simplest area and then move up. My second tip on speaking is just to deliver as much value as possible. You might get asked to speak at a conference that's very expensive to go to, and they might not pay any of your expenses or pay any speaking fee, but you still need to add as much genuine value as possible. Don't pitch your product. Don't pitch what you're trying to raise capital for. Don't pitch the clients within your PowerPoint. Um, at very most, you should have one slide on what you do and what you offer. Everything else should be delivering value. People want to work with people that give value. People want to work with people that aren't trying to always hard sell people. People want to work with people who are genuinely thought leaders and experts in their niche. So you need to be that and play that part because it's just going to serve you the best long term and you'll make more business friends in the industry instead of just you know, sales prospects that either convert or don't for you.
Um, when it comes to the third part, which is proactive selling, so we have writing, speaking, and proactive selling, this is really where marketing and sales best practices come into play. Things such as being able to tell a good story, to introduce who you are and what your experience is, doing things such as following up with somebody seven to 14 times before they convert, but doing it in a professional way. Um, these are things such as generating reciprocation by giving things of value to a prospect so that they'll feel you know, somewhat of an uh, automatic response need to spend some time listening to you then or to help you out in return. And doing things which are just really marketing and sales 101 and best practices that on top of writing and speaking in your niche are really going to help you raise a lot more capital. I know this firsthand that it works. And so I hope that this whole capital raising trifecta idea is something that you found useful and helpful. It's Richard Wilson, company from Zurich, Switzerland, and we'll see you again soon.